As we approach the 1 o'clock games of week 14, we get your lineups right and ready for your fantasy football teams. Weekly stardom sit -em. It all goes down next right here on Hammer's House. The United States are strongly encouraged to shelter in place to avoid being attacked or taken hostage. To shelter in place, take the following precautions. Close all windows and doors and all lights. Good morning, good morning, good morning, happy Sunday, welcome to the official, the original, the only house for Las Vegas Raiders news, rumors, updates, live streams, and reactions, and for your Sunday morning fantasy football start sit advice, welcome to Hammer's House, hope everybody's having a great morning wherever you guys are at, let's do a quick roll call as we get into this, doors in the building, yee, start DC for the rest of, sit DC for, for the rest of his career, please, God help me. You got the super hood tailgate in here, Robert Pena, Turbo. What up, Hammer? All we could do is watch other teams play and hope they lose and pray that our playoff hope's still up. We need Jets, Ravens, Patriots, Dolphins to keep losing. We'll see what happens. Yep. Amazing Blue, what's good? Sinister, good morning. Blake Jarman, good morning. Uh, let's go into the weather forecast first. Um, here we go. All right. Start of the 1 o'clock games. You got the Bills in Orchard Park hosting the New York Jets. Um, supposed to be 33, and there is expected a uh, chance of snow, 53% chance to be exact. Bengals hosting the Browns, partly cloudy, 45 degrees. Cowboys are hosting the Texans. We know that's inside. Lions hosting the Vikings inside. Giants at MetLife hosting a, uh, NFC East rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles. Expected rain, 41 degrees. Steelers hosting the Ravens. <clears throat> In Pittsburgh, very cloudy, 42 degrees. Titans at home, very cloudy, 51 degrees, hosting Jacksonville Jaguars. 405 start, Broncos at mile high against the Chiefs, 61 degrees and clear. Damn, that's not normal in December in Denver. 49ers hosting the Bucks in Santa Clara, 53 degrees with a 30% chance of rain. Seahawks up in Seattle hosting the Carolina Panthers, 45 degrees, very cloudy. Uh, the Sunday night game, Chargers are hosting the Dolphins. Uh, obviously they're inside as well. And last but not least, a giant toaster in the desert. The Cardinals are hosting the New England Patriots. Those that are coming on in here, y'all know the routine. And if you don't, if you're new to this, I'm going to learn you. Break them thumbs, hit them subs, smash the bell. Uh, we're a little over 4,400 after the game on Thursday. I thank everybody that pulled on up. We had a total of over 10,000 views uh, for that live shitty uh situation it was a great game until the very end and we know what the end result was so it is what it is at this time no way jets are winning against the bills they beat the bills earlier this season so never say never any given sunday look the rams weren't supposed to beat us they were three and nine mayfield comes in at, uh, on their third drive and that was it jamal what's good who should i start trevor lawrence or kyler murray monday all right let's start um, I'm going to answer this question, then I'm going to go through the rankings real quickly as well. Sorry if I look a little discombobulated right now. I just strained my back a couple of minutes ago trying to uh, move a TV in the house. So I'm kind of out of sorts right now. This shit hurts like hell. Kyler Murray consensus down the board 100 to nothing. Uh, the matchup plays a crucial role in it. Um, season average plays a crucial role in it as well. But consensus down the board has Kyler Murray. All right. Let's go into the... Let me get this up real quick. 
Let's go into the fantasy rankings and actually the injury report as well. That's first and foremost and the most important thing we're going to get started with. All right, so not expected to play today. Lamar Jackson, Kenneth Walker III, I got that alert last night. DJ Dallas, Damian Harris, ruled out. Traylon Burks, Nico Collins, Brandon Cooks, Hayden Hurst, Cortland Sutton, Kadarius Toney, Jacoby Myers, and Ron Del Moore. Game time decision, Saquon Barkley, Zay Jones. We already know about Jacobs. He played on Thursday night. Expected to play Amari Cooper, Trevor Lawrence, DK Metcalf, and Leonard Fournette. So those that's your most up-to-date injury report going into the 1 o'clock games. Uh, 4 o'clock games, you'll get more of the updates later on. So guys, whatever players you have, keep an eye on it um, as you guys approach the 4 o'clock Eastern start, 1 o'clock uh, Pacific starts. For your rankings going into week 14, you have Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Tua Tagovailoa, Kyler Murray, Geno Smith, Dak Prescott, Kirk Cousins, Jared Goff, Derek Carr, Trevor Lawrence, Deshaun Watson, and Tyler Huntley. That's your quarterbacks going into week 14. For the running backs, you have Austin Eckler, Josh Jacobs, again, he already played, Christian McCaffrey, Derek Henry, Ramondre Steven, Dalvin Cook, Tony Pollard, Saquon Barkley, Nick Chubb, Joe Mixon, DeAndre Swift, Travis Etienne, Ezekiel Elliott, Miles Sanders, and James Conner. For your receivers, you have Justin Jefferson, Tay already played, Tyreek Hill, Amon Ross St. Brown, Stephon Diggs, Jamar Chase, A.J. Brown, C.D. Lamb, DeAndre Hopkins, Jalen Waddle, T. Higgins, D.K. Metcalf, Keenan Allen, Garrett Wilson, and Tyler Lockett. For your tight ends, you have Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, T.J. Hawkinson, Pratt, Pat Fryermuth, Dalton Schultz, Greg Deitch, or Dolchich, I'm sorry. George Kittle, Gerald Everett, Foster Moreau already played, didn't do shit. Evan Ingram, Hunter Henry, Tyler Higby, David Njoku, Noah Fant, and Tyler Conklin. For your kickers, Brett Mayer, Daniel Carlson, already played. Tyler Bass, Harrison Bucker, Justin Tucker. Evan McPherson, Jason Myers, Nick Folk, Jason Sanders, Cameron Dicker, Michael Badgley, Greg Joseph, Jake Elliott, Graham Gano, and Robbie Gold. For your kickers and for your defense, the Cowboys, Bills, Eagles, Chiefs, Ravens, Seahawks, Niners, Steelers, Bucks, Raiders, Patriots, Bengals, Titans, Cardinals, Jets. So that is your rankings for week 14. Let me take this off of the screen for you guys real quickly. There we go. Um, Matthew Moore, what's good? Yeah, you're right about that. Anything happened? Yep. Wait, Raider fans still have hope this year? Nah, y'all different, different. Ah, whatever. I'm just watching the damn games. If we make the playoffs, we make the playoffs. We don't, we don't. That's pretty much where I'm at with the season. There's nothing, look, really the only way you can feel at this point. It is what it is. I've told you guys before, we needed to take this week by week, handle our business. We still have some very important conference games as well. If some of these teams can help with some of these losses and we can gain ground with the conference wins, we'll see what the possibilities are. At this time, I'm just, I'm taking it week by week as I have been for the last couple of weeks. Good morning, Carrie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My back is super fucking tight. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to be on for. Bam Knight, Garrett Wilson, or Hollywood Brown at the flex. All right, let's get this up real quick. Hold on. I don't know where I fucking put this shit. This goes to show I'm really... I was feeling good this morning, and then all of a sudden this when my back happened. Which one? Wait, 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 which night? You're talking about. Never mind, I got it. Zonovan for the Jets. Garrett Wilson's been on a tear. I actually picked him up um, a couple of weeks ago. And a couple of weeks back, I told you guys to start him. And he had put up 21 uh, points, or 29 fantasy points to be exact, actually. All right, here we go, guys. Consensus down the board, actually. Oh, yeah, it was definitely a flex the way it's set up. Garrett Wilson at 79. Normally, I'd tell you guys to go with a running back because normally a lot of the times a running back will be the one that gets um, a lot more touches than a receiver. But it has Garrett Wilson at 79%, 21% for Zonovan Knight, and zero for Marquise Brown. Uh, The season totals play a role in it. The matchup plays a role in it as well. The matchup is actually, like, pretty much down the board. They're fairly in the middle of one another. But, yeah, you're going to go with Garrett Wilson for that for your flex today. 
I'm just looking to see how the young guys play for us and see. Yeah, fair enough. Look, we released uh, Simpson, and I know there was another release yesterday, if I remember correctly. Um, I can't remember at the top of my head. I know it was another lineman. Oh, Lester Cotton, I believe. Shout out to Big Bro. What up, bro? Hope you're doing well. Thank you. I was leaning towards Garrett Wilson. Just the snow had me worried. Hey, they, these guys are professionals. They're supposed to play in all sorts of uh, types of weather. So I think Garrett Wilson should be just fine, though. Yeah, it was cotton. It was cotton. We don't win games against first-day coaches or second-day QBs. Even if we get all the help from others falling apart, we still need a win. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. If you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. Oh, my God. Yeah, this shit hurts. I'm going to struggle today. Um, we do have the ticker going across the bottom with, oh, shit. Oh, never mind. That's correct. With the scores and the matchups going today, I looked at, I saw the Thursday night one and bugged out for a second, but that's absolutely correct. Wilson's played in the snow before versus Michigan. He looked just fine. We'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching some football today. Even though our, our Raiders aren't on, I'm probably going to sit here and watch Red Zone. I honestly thought about doing um, a whole live stream today of NFL Red Zone, but I have so much to do around the house, so I don't think that's going to happen. It would have been fun, but I'm not going to do that today. What do you think Josh McDaniel's trying to do? We'll be losing in an embarrassing way. Is he trying to get – see, that's the thing, Turbo. I, I can't speak on that. It, it's it, – right now, That that's seriously a very delicate situation. Like, people have looked at it from that standpoint that maybe Josh McDaniels is the one that's trying to – um more or less purposely fail and make more or less uh, Derek Carr's a scapegoat. But I don't know. At this point, I'm just – I've told you guys before I don't believe in tanking. I don't really even believe in building, and I hate the three words, trust the process. I'm taking a week by week, and that's all I can do, man. Bill Gates, I don't know. I don't know. Look, I saw uh, Mitchell Renz yesterday. He gave a list of top ten – quarterbacks to potentially replace dc we know the, the scenario with dc in regards to the money he's owed what could be, uh what could happen look they could restructure him and be like hey can you make like 18 19 million dollars a year instead of 30 can we can you waive your no trade clause for one of these teams or we just flat out cut and save 110 million dollars but um at this point i don't know i, I really don't um Again, we just let's get through the rest of the regular season, and then we can figure out what potentially is going to be happening moving forward. But right now, we're still in season, so it doesn't matter at this point. My health needs a break from this team. <laughs> oh, my God. We can move up the draft board like today, like up to – I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned about the draft. I'm not concerned about high, how high in the draft we, we pick. The first round is really the draft as a whole is is uncertainty. The first round is most definitely a land of uncertainty. Um, look, we drafted Clee Farrell in 2019 with the fourth overall pick in the draft. And how did that pan out for us? Uh, we drafted Jamarcus Russell ages ago. How did that work out for us? Look, the, it is truly a land of uncertainty. Look at Baker Mayfield. He was the first overall pick. He's already on his third team. So we can't go by, oh, let's get a high pick and we're going to get this guy and they're going to be the best. At, like, it is truly a land of uncertainty, guys. Hey, my brother, would you take Brady over Carr? Brady's a free agent. If he were to get us a Super Bowl, like I could say I'd forget about the tuck rule, but I'd be lying. So I don't know. I don't know. Um... I'll tell you one thing, as I was listening to Mitch yesterday, and shout out to him, great show, and if you guys aren't subscribed to him, check, out, check him out, uh, Raiders Chad Sports. Um, he was saying that like it wouldn't be a bad scenario, especially with the familiarity with the offense, for Brady to come here, you draft a quarterback, have a, quarter, uh, a rookie quarterback learning behind the greatest quarterback of all time, um, it might make sense, but we don't know. We don't know. Again, I'm not I'm not thinking about it right now. It's really not even on my to-do list until we get into the offseason and start figuring things out, especially when the new uh, the new league year starts in March. I'm not concerned right now, guys. I'm not. Let's just – we have a, a roster of 53 guys. Let's, let's play out the rest of the games that we have and see what the possibilities are. I, 
playoffs, I doubt it. And I'm, I'm being a realist. So people that hate on that, people that hate for me being openly honest about shit, sorry, not sorry, but I'm just telling you how it is. The world is not sunshine and rainbows, y'all. I can't wait until I'm actually able to one day go to tailgate and go to a Raider game. I haven't been to one yet. Bro, I'm telling you. I went to Oakland for my very first game in 2017. I didn't do the tailgate, but just being around the nation, like, for the very first time, like, shit hits different. Fans in Oakland are just fucking awesome. But um, I've, bought, I've gone to tailgate since then, and it truly is, and I always say it, like, the Raider Nation is truly my second family. I love the time I've, the time and opportunities I've had to hang out with you guys at tailgates, at other events, Thor's house for a barbecue, that shit was dope. Like, it's always a great time with the nation. Well, what, again, win, lose, or tie, man. We always have a great time together. So, yeah, shout out to the nation. If anybody has any other fantasy questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to put this in the chat momentarily if you guys want to call in and ask your fantasy questions. Um, I'm trying to fix it. I don't know what is going on today. The chat all of a sudden is like acting crazy. Oh, here we go. So once this message comes up, the lines will officially be open for you guys to call in and ask your fantasy questions. We'll get you guys right and ready for week 14. There it is right there. I'll highlight it for you guys real quick. Appreciate you, Sinister. All right. There's the line right there, guys. The line is open for you guys to ask your fantasy questions. We are about, we're an hour away from kickoff of the 1 o'clock games. 347-471-0361. Call on in. Ask your questions. Let's get those lineups right and ready. Um, I know I'm probably going to have to make some adjustments, so we'll see when I actually open my phone and take a look at the lineup. But, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to try to get up real quick. Hold on. Fuck. Yeah, I definitely tweaked my back. I'm going to end up going back to bed after this, this shit fucking... <sighs> I need that Theragun. That's what I should ask for for Christmas because I haven't asked for anything for Christmas. It's kind of why I don't understand why some channels are beefing with other channels, to be honest with you. It's stupid. We're all here to do Sinister, you're a thousand percent correct. And you know what? As I sit here right now on my channel, I apologize. Um... For those, if any, that saw the the IG story I put up the other day, I was just I was pissed off primarily because of all this shit that's going on. We're all supposed to be down for the same cause, the same team, the same nation, the only nation, and the divide is just ridiculous. Like, look, if you support guys, that's great, but it doesn't mean you have to go and bash others. Like. The guilty by association shit is a joke. Like, you being baited to go and, oh, don't fuck with this dude anymore, but you can go and hang out with the rest of them. Like, look, I have the utmost respect for every single Raider content creator that's out there. Just because I'm not doing lives with them on a regular basis or doing lives with them at all doesn't mean that I don't have any respect or support for them. I I'm most absolutely do. It's not easy doing this. It truly is a grind. Um, I wish that whatever beef is out there amongst these guys can just be squashed and we can all just move on. Like I said, I have the utmost respect for every single Raider content creator. I, for one, don't like being put in the middle of situations. Like, I just wish that the stuff was dead, over with. I, honest to God, feel that if we were winning, it probably would have never happened in the first place. But, um... Just please, guys, let's all get along. I know it sounds fucking corny as hell, whatever, but please, we're all down for the same shield. We all bleed silver and black. Let's stop with the with the nonsense and just come together already, man. Like I said, we don't have to be on each other's shows. For me personally, I, res I still respect everybody, regardless if I'm on this one, that one, whoever. I have respect for each and every single one of these guys and everything that they do, so again... For those that saw the IG story, for those that took it personally, 
for the, those that saw the live the other day when I went off and took it personally, I apologize. That's it. I'm putting it out there. I apologize. I'm done with it, though. I'm not being put in the middle of any of this stuff anymore. I don't want to be a part of the, the, the nonsense anymore. That's it. That was the thing, Med, when, when I went to Oakland, like, it was like, I actually had stayed in San Francisco, I had to do the little, what is it, the Bart? Oh, we got a call. Call from Thor. To accept. Yee! Yee! What's happening, my brother? What up, bro? How are you? Man. Fucking exhausted, bro. Fucking this fucking team killing me, man. Ah, you know, I'm hanging in. It's, it's actually a relaxed Sunday, though, because the Raiders aren't on, so I don't got to do shit. I'm laying around in my pajamas and shit. You were in, you were in L.A. on Thursday, right? I was. That shit was fucking disgusting, bro. I'm kind of glad that uh, I, I ended up getting the new job shortly after... Uh, we were in Vegas together back in August because that was the only reason I couldn't go to LA on Thursday. <laughs> like my aunt, right. my aunt is a Ram season t- ticket holder, unfortunately, cause she lives in LA. Mm-hmm. Um, she was right. like, yo, I have a ticket for you in the end zone. Just give me the information da, da, da. But I was like, yeah, unfortunately I can't make it out there, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Cause I probably would have lost my shit. I probably would have ended uh spending a night in uh, LA County jail, beating the shit out of somebody. Cause that, that loss should have never happened. Yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. I I, I feel you. I, the Rams fans, they're not real fans, so it wasn't that bad, yeah. to be honest. Um, whatever. I, half of, half the Rams fans that were there had left, bro. You half serious? Them left, bro. Yeah. Wow. I mean, no loyalty. I, when the next morning, when I when I got up, I, I went walked over to the um, little Seven Eleven right across the street to get something, and the guy in there who was who was a was a Rams fan, he was like, "Yeah, I, I didn't even know the Rams won until the next day." I'm like, he was like, "I just went I went to sleep." I was like, "Huh?" Like, I, yeah. So that's why I'm like, their their fans ain't even. I mean, they're they're obviously there's a few who are. Solid, you know what I'm saying, but but a lot of them are just whack. So, so absolutely, I mean, it, it sucked, bro. It was more sad and depressing just through the shit we've been through this year. Then to to feel like, all right, we we can win out. We could, you know, we, we're turning it around, and and then for that that nonsense, um, you get up early and you just stop again, bro. Like like the. The fucking definition of insanity is fucking Derek Carr, Josh McDaniels, the fucking Raiders. They get the same shit over and over. It's fucking frustrating, man. It's fucking frustrating. But we, we've we chose this life. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'd be like, man, we chose this life. This is the life I chose. This is the life I live with. I'm going to be out there. My wife was like, fuck, I don't even know if I'm going to the tailgate next week. I was like, yeah. And, and we went in with our, my friend Viv in L.A. and her husband. Now we come stay at the house. So we they were staying until Tuesday, and my wife had to work till what, after Wednesday. She should get off around 3. We're like, why don't y'all just stay till Wednesday so we can ride back with y'all? And we just got a one-way flight back. It was fucking $19. Damn. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so, so we were like, cool. They were like, all right, whatever. That's cool. You guys just ride back with us. We'll stay another night. And, and so like the trip, the trip itself, you know, we travel a lot. So she had points. So we basically, our hotel ended up being free. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it ended up being cheap. At least we didn't spend tons of money. My homegirl snuck, helped us. We snuck in. We were just basically standing room. Um, she had some people working the gate, you know, we just kind of showed a phone and whatever, snuck into the stadium and just walked into a bar or what their stadium fucking sucks. So I don't know if you ever been there. Their stadium is whack as fuck. It is hell whack, bro. It, 
It's brand new, but it's just whack. Yeah, I've never been. So, the only yeah, the only stadiums, the only stadiums I've been to, um, I've been to MetLife a whole bunch of times. Uh, unfortunately, right. um, I've been to M and T in Baltimore. I've been okay. to, um, I've been to Oakland. I've been to the Coliseum, and I got to go to Allegiant for that uh that preseason game. I didn't stay for the game. We left before kickoff, the game against the Patriots, but. I got to walk around right. inside the palace, and uh, I even got to uh, fist bump uh, Max Crosby, which was awesome. But um, awesome. I, I got to go to a game and actually stay for a whole game. And, uh, look, I had a few on my list this year I wanted to go to, unfortunately. Again, new job, didn't have the opportunity to. Next year, most right. definitely, I'm going to get. A, I'm gonna try. Well, I'll be out there in October. I'm praying to God when the schedule comes out that October 22nd, that we have a game at Allegiant because I will most definitely be there. And then I know we have a game against the Jets uh, at home this coming uh, or next season, rather. I'm definitely going to try to be out there for that one as well. Okay, okay, cool, cool, for sure. I, I, yeah, you know, I, I'm fuck the way the season turned out. There's a couple games we were supposed to go to, and, you, and same with you. You know, shit just happens and we couldn't make. End up being happy we couldn't make them, um, but. Whatever, you know, I, I, the Raiders, man, again, the life we chose, I'm, uh, it's just, it's, we're frustrated right now. We're frustrated. You know, I talk a lot of shit about DC, um, but I, I don't know where I'm at with. Should we go get another? Because I honestly feel like we're really not even that far. Our record might suck, so therefore we suck. But we're really not that far away. Really not that far away. If they could figure out a way to make DC um, the game managing quarterback that he needs to be, he's not going to be a superstar kind of quarterback. No. You make Devontae a superstar. You make Josh Jacobs a superstar. Um, I don't know what's going on with fucking um, Renfro and and Waller and the injury shit. You know, when people are hurt, they're hurt. I don't. I, that's not for me to say either way. Um, I'd like to see a little more of getting the other running back, the, the young kids, Zeus and Bob. Yeah. Right, just because running back position is so hard and, and the fucking amount of carries that Josh Jacobs needs to get, you know, who knows how long he lasts. With that injury, uh, that injury with the pinky the other night, they should have just took him out for the game. Like, they did have the lead. You should have put Zeus in. You should have got yep. Zeus some reps. Like he was, I think he was only in for one carry, and that one carry he was stopped back at the line of scrimmage again. And I'm like, are, are we going back to not having a running back vision? But um, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. And with the Waller thing, I had to take a step back because I, I thought about it personally, me playing ball as long as I did and dealing with the hamstring injuries. This shit is no joke, man. It's something that you right. never take lightly. And when he had the interview telling people, um, exactly what happened in regards to him retweaking it. I had night. Right. I had almost the same exact incident happen, but I wasn't running routes. I had taken off for right. nearly eight weeks. We got in the playoffs. I came back. I'm warming up. I'm doing. Um, I'm warming up with field goals, and I tweaked it again. I was like, "That's it. I'm fucking done." Right, right. Again, that's that's why I said, bro. Like injury shit. No one. Like I, I'm not. I'm not here to question. Like, my back is fucked up, right? My back's been fucked up for a long time. So my back was fucked up. We went to L.A. We get to L.A. Me and my wife are staying at a hotel by the airport. My homegirl, Viv, um, they're supposed to be tailgating. They're running late. You know me. I'm ready to go early. So I had shot up to the casino. Um, I had shot up to the casino right by the stadium. I'm waiting for them. They're supposed to get me in at noon. So I'm like, I got to play for an hour or so and then go tailgate. Like twelve fifteen, I'm calling Viv. Like, what the fuck y'all at? She's like, oh, well, we're we're, we're leaving Compton now. We got to go to Gardena to get the, the brother in law, and then we'll be there. Whoa! And I'm like, and y'all sound like you were solid forty five minutes. Fuck it, I'm just walking over because it's close enough to walk. So I walk. I get there. I'm walking through one of the fucking parking sections, and I know a lot of Raider fans are going to be in in the pink lot J. So I'm like, let me walk over there, run into a couple of Raider fans I know, you know, give me some beers. You know how Raider people is, like, they're giving you beers and giving you shit, and it's all good. Well, then finally calls me, and she's like, she's like, yeah, okay, we're pulling in right now. We're going to be in pink lot 
H or whatever it was, or I or some shit, um, over by the fucking, um, the back over by the, the semis or whatever the fuck it was. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll walk over there. Walk over. As soon as I, as soon as I see them, bro, I like twist. She's like, look to your left. Our, our car is pulling in the park right now. As soon as I twist, I feel my back just like, oh shit, like someone stabbed me in the back. Like, so for the first like hour of the tailgate, bro, literally I couldn't, like, I couldn't help them get shit. I just sat in the car. And, and it was like, but motherfucker, Motherfuckers don't know. Like, then you almost feel like, oh, I ain't helping. So, well, my bad. I just honestly can't. And so we don't know the pain Waller is going through. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash him for that. I am gonna bash the team though. I just don't feel like they, they. I don't know what it is. It's it, to me, it's the leadership, whether it's the coaching or the team captains. Where the fuck is the fucking fire at, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh. Right. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> right. I'm like, why are we right. staring why are we staring away from this? Why why is Bro, McDaniels I, not doing what was working in the first half for us to fall apart all of a sudden? Exactly. I mean we I was in the stadium and said to you, Bro, like what the fuck is going like this is the same shit we've done so many times this year and it, it means we're gonna lose this fucking and I'm my wife and Viv and they're like, Man, come on, man, it's it sixteen to three with seven. I'm like, Man, I've seen this story before in this whole, we we have three points in this half because we're not doing what we were doing that was working. And I was like, are you fucking, there's no fucking way. And I almost started getting in a bad mood right there. Like, and it was still 16 to 3. Like, I see this fucking, the writing on the wall is fucking insane, man. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I, I had a great time with the nation, man. I, a, few, a few people I know came out and kicked it. Some people I know from L.A., some people I know from the Bay. So, to me, it's just, man, just, just kicking it with the fam, bro. Kicking it with the fam. That's all we could do. Hope they get together um, and be ready to go for next year. I don't I don't know who... Um, I don't know who's going to still be here, who's not. I don't know if they're really trying to push Carr out. Or what? Again, that's that's not my job. I'd be more than happy for him to go, but then again, that means almost starting over. Yep. Uh, and that's what, so, I'm, that's what I'm afraid of. And right I now. feel like we're, we're we're honestly close enough that we don't need to start over. But I just don't know if if he's that dude. I, I mean, it's been too many years. I know all the excuses. I'm tired of excuses. I just want to win fucking games. I'm a I'm a red fan that wants to win games, bro. And my bad, bro. I didn't mean to try to talk all over your show and shit, uh, and and whatever. But you know, I honestly, I haven't, I haven't even looked at YouTube. I haven't looked at shit since that loss. I haven't really talked about shit. Um, I heard someone saying something on here about all the division and the, bro. This is the last thing I'm gonna say before I get out of here. Y'all need to stop that shit. All y'all motherfuckers doing it. I know it ain't you, so I'm not. But all the motherfuckers doing. Shit like, bro, we family, bro. We come together. I know when you came to my house, it was everyone there, man. When I had the one big thing, everyone was there, man. If people want, I'm the motherfucking Switzerland of Red Nation YouTube. Um, but that's because I, I, I'm i from the motherfucking tailgate. I'm from the Oak. I'm super hood tailgate, baby. I fucking ran the tailgate in Oakland. I'm out here with the black hole, with all these motherfuckers every week. Bro, and we fam, bro. That's how we are. Um, you, you know, we, we're trying to bring whatever we have from Oakland to still be in Vegas is different. But one thing I need to say is that people, the family needs to stay. The family aspect needs to stay, bro. Everyone has an opinion. They're motherfucking, they all smell like everyone has a whatever. You know what I'm saying? 
that whatever. You know, I might think this, you might think that. At the end of the day, we all just want the Raiders to be great. And if you can't get past that, I don't know. Right on, Hammer, my brother. Appreciate I'm out of here. I, I, I'll keep watching your show, though, until football starts. But right on, bro. Appreciate you, Thank brother. you for we'll having me. Of course. I'll, I'll get Yay! Yay! Later, brother. That was Thor. One of the dudes that I definitely consider one of the biggest Raider super fans. Like, he's in that same stratosphere as Violator, Gorilla Rilla, all those guys. Because he's always there, man. Front and center for tailgates. And always having a good time with the nation. Like, look, same, same thing that I just said. We are a family. Like I said, when it comes to this content creator stuff, yes, everybody has opinions. Everybody has different views on this team. And... Who's, to, who's at fault, this, that, and the third, but that doesn't mean we need to be bashing one another. We are supposed to be a family. It needs to stay that way. So, yeah, I'm trying to be just like him. I'm trying to be Switzerland. I don't want to be in the middle of any controversy anymore. I want everybody to get along and just move forward, man. Like I said, if this, if this team was winning right now, none of this shit would be going on. It wouldn't be. And it is what it is at this point. Tubby, what's good, brother? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you pulling on up. Pyro. You got to hit your read and execute this ain't mad. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Look, I wasn't even going to sit here. Like, look, this morning is supposed to be. I'm sorry. I'm moving around so much. But my back is really hurting me. This morning was supposed to be about fantasy football. It's supposed to be our weekly start set Um, Somebody in here before, like, oh, I'll give you credit for even doing this right now. Um, I kind of was going to just chill today. Shout out to Fran, uh, Fran the Trenches. That was him that said that, and I definitely appreciate you, brother. Um, I, I thought about just trying to give myself a couple of days and then get myself put things together for this coming week as we approach um, the matchup against the Patriots. But I was like, I can't not do this because I've been doing this every single Sunday this season and not missing. So I want to help you guys um, get your lineups right and ready. So if you guys have any other fantasy questions, feel free to ask. And if you want to call in, call in. Tubby, am I watching Red Zone today? So I, I told the guys earlier when we started, I actually thought about even doing a live the whole day, um, doing uh, Red Zone. But I have so much to do around the house, um, getting ready for this holiday party and everything, that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm thinking, and I'm probably going to get killed for doing this, but I was thinking about potentially doing a live, doing like a holiday live next Saturday while I have this party and maybe have some family come on in, say what up, whatever. But um, I'm probably going to get eviscerated for it, but we will see. We will see. But I definitely appreciate everybody that's in here today, most definitely. Alex, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Again, we had we did have a great live Thursday. Um, got another call. This number looks familiar. Let's see. Call if it's from I think it is. Big Mike. Yep. To accept. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Good, man. Ladies and gentlemen from Planet Raiders, and now he has his own channel on YouTube, Big Mike Raiders. Um, it is Big Mike. Salute, brother. Hope you're doing salute, well. Salute. Yeah, man. Hey, so, you know, you got your, you know, shit the bed player of the week for, for the Raiders. I got my shit to bed uh, people of the week, and that's going to be uh, the people who uh, started the playoffs this week when there's still buys going in the fantasy football leagues. So I got Jonathan Taylor on the bench because he's on a buy, and I'm in the first round of the playoffs. Damn. So <laughs> also, I also got Terry McLaurin on the bench in one league. And Jonathan Taylor. And then the other one, I got Jonathan Taylor and Chris Olave. So I'm in trouble. And I was like, I'm 9 and 4. I went 9 and 3. 9 and 3, I think. 9 and 3. 9 and 4. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to lose this week, man. So, you know, shit the bed, people of the week, people who uh, didn't do their research and started the playoffs this week. Yeah, I'm looking at my uh, I'm looking at my lineups now just to be safe, and I'm gonna have to go back to the rankings momentarily. Like I have, I thought I had uh, Kenneth Walker starting. Thank God I don't. But I have, yeah. I had Adams and Carlson. They got me 22 points. I got Hertz, Garrett Wilson, Dalvin Cook, Travis Etienne, Mark Andrews, 
Tyler Lockett, and Kansas City's defense, and I'm going against Lamar Jackson, who I think is not expected. He is out. He's ruled out. He's out, yeah. Uh, Steph Diggs, uh, Aaron Jones. Actually, he's on a bye. This person didn't even adjust their fucking lineup. Nick That's Chubb, what I'm saying, man. Nick Chubb, Dalton Schultz, uh, T. Higgins, Justin Tucker, and Buffalo's defense. So I think I still have a pretty solid chance at winning this, and I hope I do. I think it brings me back to 500. This – like I said to you a couple of weeks ago, I'm never playing in an eight-team league ever again. Absolutely no. not. That's never happening again. <laughs> yeah, that, that don't even sound right. <laughs> Thor just yeah, um, Thor put a message with uh, from the Superhood tailgate in the chat. Big Mike Raider, my brother, yo, Sunday late night, 9 p.m. Pacific time. You want to jump on our show with us? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. What, what, uh, what, what day is it? You said? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll see if I can pull up, man. That, that sounds good. Yo, Pyro, I appreciate you being in here, bro, because I definitely haven't seen you in one of my lives in a very, very, very long time. So much love to you, much love to the family, and I'm, I really appreciate you coming, coming back in here, brother. Um, I just saw some man. Real, real, Philly's real, defense. Hold on, real quick, bro. Go. I got, I got a little bit of advice that I need to ask you. All right, before I head out. So, like I said, I'm, I'm down I'm down a, a running back. I had Damian Harris, but he's out for the game uh, as one of my backups. So, now I'm looking for a running back to start. Do you start Chuba Hubbard or Mike Boone from the Broncos? Hold Which on. one are you going with? Let me pull this up real quick. Uh, and, guys, right. this is courtesy of Fantasy Pros. They, they've done a great job with this throughout the season. You said Chuba Hubbard, and who's the other one? Uh, Mike Boone from uh, the Broncos, running back for the Broncos. This should be very interesting. Yeah. 98, 98 to two in favor of uh, in favor of Chuba Hubbard, just because of the matchup is extremely high, um, and Seattle's defense and what they give up to the run game. Their rushing attempts allowed, they give up thirty one and a half. Rushing yards allowed, they give up uh, one hundred and fifty five point three a game, and rushing touchdowns is normally at one. Uh, his season totals play a uh, critical role in that as well, but cons- consensus down the board has Chubba Hubbard. Okay, cool, cool. I, I was leading towards the same, the, the right way then, because uh, for whatever reason they have Mike Boone projected a little bit more than uh, than Hubbard for whatever reason, not by much, but it was still like, are you know, like what's going on? Like he has a little bit more projected, so I was like, okay. Uh, I, had to, I had to get with you to see what you thought about it. That was the one the one Achilles heel with uh, Seattle is that rush defense, and we saw that firsthand right. when we played them a couple of weeks ago. So definitely go with Chubba Hubbard today in this matchup against the Seattle Seahawks. Nice. Will do, man. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'll be talking to you later, man. All right, bro. Be safe. All right. Later. Later. That was Big Mike Raider. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, uh, it's Big Mike Raider on YouTube, and he's also part of the Planet Raiders family as uh, we're continuing to get that site up and running for you guys very, very soon. Shout out to Raider Nation Cali. Shout out to little man KJ. I hope he's doing better. I hope he kicked COVID in the nuts already. Um, much love to you guys. I'm starting over again, looking for a quarterback. Don't you know it's going to take another 10 years? That's, that's why I've been on this thing of one of two things, either – Actually, it's one thing, because like I said, I really would not, I I couldn't even imagine this dude in silver and black, and that's Tom Brady. If we can get um, DC to restructure his contract, if we can draft a quarterback, uh, second, third round, and have him just sit for a year or two, learn the system, get acclimated to everything, and be the successor to Derek Carr, then I'm fine with that. I'll be perfectly fine with that, but we'll see. We'll see. Again, this is something that does not even need to be a topic of discussion until the season is officially over for us, regardless of, oh, to, to some people, the season's over now. Like, when all 17 games are done, then we could look forward and have those conversations about things. And look, there'll still be a lot of content, a lot of lives to be done, probably some pre recorders as well, to break things down and talk with the nation and hear your guys' opinions on it as well. So, we shall see. But we've already been on, damn, we've been on for 45 minutes. We talked more Raiders than we did fantasy today. <laughs> that was, the, the one that just called was Big Mike 
the one the first caller was Thor, diehard Raider fan. Like I said, he's definitely a guy that I consider to be one of the Raider super fans. Um, great dude. Had the opportunity to meet him in person in Vegas during the draft. He actually had us over for, at his house for a barbecue. Amazing time. Amazing, amazing time. Great dude. Great, solid dude. Him and his wife. Shout out to you guys. Much love to you guys. Miss you guys. Do red zone till half time. I got like I said, I have to start doing um I gotta I actually like have to start doing laundry and I have to start getting this stuff ready because I'll be working this entire week and from what I understand I have some training I have to do this week as well. So I wanna try to get majority of this stuff right and ready. Uh come Saturday morning. I, I should just be like kick back, like, all right, come on in everybody. That's it. Appreciate you, Turbo. All right, guys, I'm going to roll out. Like I said, I met Calf. Hold on. Let me go through this again because I did have it up before. Um, oh, I got another caller. Call from KJ. KJ, what is good, little man? How are you? I'm good. Um, hold on one sec, KJ. Bruce, Metcalf is expected to play. So if you need him in your lineup, go for it. Um, right now I'm looking at the game day um, injury report, the play statuses. He's expected yeah. to play. KJ, did you kick COVID's ass? Are you feeling better now? Yes, I did. Yes, yeah, I did. Yeah, man. Good. I'm glad you're doing better. What uh? What what is? What are you getting for Christmas? What would you ask for for Christmas? Uh, I asked for a Nintendo Switch. Uh, a Velociraptor dinosaur and a Transformer. Nice, good times. I wish I could. Yeah. Get, I wish I could get toys like that. You actually can. I'm too old, bro. I'm too old to have toys like that. And I have my yeah. I, I have my Xbox. I thought about getting another <laughs> one, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> You're somebody's never too old to get Christmas presents. <laughs> I swear to God, you're, you you remind me of my niece. You're like a little adult. You're like nine going on 39. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you for calling in, KJ. I'm going to wrap up the show, though. Um, I should be on at some point this week. We'll probably have you guys call in. I'm thinking maybe doing Talk That Bleep on Tuesday so you guys can call in and sound off, all right? All right. Thanks, bro. Of course. Hooray! Raiders. Catch you next time, little man. All right, bye. Later. I always say it, and it's always when he calls, it's always the best way to close close out a show. But that is hands down the coolest nine year old of the Raider Nation. Just saying. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out of here. Like I said, I got to do things around the house, even though my back is beyond fucked up right now. But I appreciate every single person that came on in here today. Um, if it was your first time in here, don't let it be your last. Break them thumbs, hit them subs, smash the bell for all your Raiders news, rumors, updates, live streams, reactions, and also your Sunday morning fantasy start sit -ems. We will get back into the UFC uh, soon as well. Um, I wasn't too thrilled about that card last night. That was another thing I steered away from. And also might even do some warrior games here and there for those on the West Coast that are down with Dub Nation just like I am. So continue to stay safe. Most importantly, be kind to one another. COVID is still around. Remember to wash your hands and your asses. And as always, win, lose, or tie, Raider Nation, till I die. Peace, love, and positivity, y'all. We out.